All right. Namaste, everyone. Thank you for joining. So today we're going to focus on our fifth chakra called the Vishuddha chakra or the throat chakra that lies right here at the center of our throat. And this chakra um, is associated with having our voice. Um, and also because the thyroid gland, glands are around this neck area, it's also associated with a better health of your thyroid glands. And so uh, in regards to its association, this chakra is associated with the sky or the ether, and that's why the color blue signifies this vastness of the sky. And so how to bring this vastness into us, because we have this vastness within us, that's kind of what this chakra relates to. And by speaking our voice or having our voice or carrying our voice, we can understand the power of voice. Because by speaking truth, by not hurting other people with our voice, um, and by this ability to gather strength through our voice, we're able to then connect and move up in our chakra. Because this chakra is also associated with the connection between our heart and our mind. And so it lies right there at the center between our heart and mind. So it was, it's a pathway between this space that our heart signifies and the space that our mind signifies. And so it's important for that communication between the heart and the mind. And so activating this chakra or focusing on this chakra can increase confidence and expression and basically the vibration of our sound because sound has a lot of good and bad vibrations, but it allows us to really focus on the goodness or the positiveness of the vibration created by sounds. And so thinking about that vibration and the sound of, or the Bija mantra of this chakra is hum. So you can think of the mantra hum throughout our practice today, or just try to focus on activating or bringing energy into your throat chakra. So with that, you can begin to close your eyes in this dip posture. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Fill your belly, fill your chest, fill your throat. And then let it go. In the next exhale, we're gonna say the sound of Om. Inhale. Om. Slowly you can open your eyes and start to shrug your shoulders up and down. Just move them up. Just lubricating your soldiers, trying to bring that energy in the neck. You can start to roll your shoulders. Place your hand on your shoulders and just roll it around. Roll your shoulders in the opposite direction. And then slowly coming to stillness. Let's do that shoulder shrug a couple more times. So bring your shoulders all the way up. And then on your exhale, drop it down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more like that. And slowly bring, bend your neck in one right side. Come to center, bend your neck on the opposite side. Come to center and let's do some neck rolls. Keep breathing, bringing lots of energy through the air element. After your third round, let's do that in the opposite direction. Then coming to stillness, Bring your hand, clasp them, 
and place your hand right underneath your chin so your thumb is touching the center of your neck or your throat. And placing your hand here. On your inhale, you're gonna open your arms and dip your head back. On your exhale, you're gonna bring your head that neck down. Let's do that. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do that three more times. And slowly come to stillness from here clasp your hands all the way on your back and then slowly tweeze your head towards the right side and tip your head to the left stay here for three deep inhales and exhales and slowly tweeze your arm to the left side Tipping your head to the right. Three deep inhales and exhales. Slowly come to center, release your hands and then press your hands the opposite direction. Close your thumb, your index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky and start to draw some circles with your wrist. Draw the circles in the opposite direction. And then slowly turning your wrist down, slowly move your arms up and down. Keep breathing and slowly come to stillness. From here, bring your left hand outside your right knee and take a gentle twist, lengthening your spine, lengthening your neck. Look towards the back. Deep inhale here. Deep exhale, a little bit more twist. Slowly come to center. Bring your right hand this time outside your left knee. Take a gentle twist to the left. Inhale, lengthen, neck is long, exhale a little bit more twist. And slowly come to face the front. And let's cross over your right leg over the left and then take a gentle twist towards your right. Lengthen your spine, lengthen your neck. Emphasizing that length in your neck, bringing that energy into your Vishuddha. And slowly come to face the front. Let's cross over that left leg this time over the right. Make sure your left hip is all the way down and take that gentle twist on the left. Inhaling, lengthens the spine all the way from your root to the crown. Exhale, twist a little bit more. And slowly come to face the front. And then from here, crossing your legs. Your legs are slightly apart from each other. Come to a neutral tabletop. As you inhale, draw up your belly, slide your chest forward, look up. As you exhale, roll your spine, look inward. Inhale, up. Exhale, inside. Few more on your own. Three deep inhales as you lengthen your neck all the way up from your spine. And curl all the way in as you curl. And slowly come to stillness. And from here, step your hands, both hands, forward and try to raise to the side. 
And as you lengthen, bring them, try to then slowly tip your head down, bringing your chin all the way on the mat, really lengthening your neck. And stay here for as long as you can, but at least three breaths. Slowly come up, come back up to your neutral tabletop. Step your left hand at the center of the mat and inhale, lift your right hand up, lengthening nice and straight. Exhale, bring your right shoulder all the way down. And this time, bring your left hand all the way around, opening that left shoulder and grab your right thigh if you can. And stay here for three breaths. And then slowly pressing your left hand on the mat, come back up. Bring your right hand this time at the center of the mat. Lift your left hand up, nice and straight. Exhale, bring that left shoulder all the way down. Bring your right hand all the way around, grabbing your left thigh, opening that right shoulder, and three breaths here. Deep breaths, feel the energy. And then slowly come up. Come back to your neutral tabletop. And then from here, tucking your toe, come to your first downward facing dog, or Adho Mukha Shrasana. Adho Mukha Shrasana activates all of the chakras, all the way from the root to the crown. And so our focus today is on the throat chakra, the Vishuddha chakra, the chakra that helps us speak the truth, helps us have our voice, so that we can have this deep connection between our heart and our mind. So feel that deep blue light, just the color of the sky at the center of your throat. As you stay here, make sure your neck is nice and long, emphasizing that long length in our neck today. Look towards your belly. And try to bring your chest closer to your thigh. And then slowly come to your toes if you're not there already. And start to take tiny steps towards your hands. Tiny steps. As you stay here, then slowly start to roll up, stacking one vertebrae at a time and thinking of those chakras that are lining up from the root all the way to your crown. And coming to Tadasana or mounted posture, make sure your feet are touching each other, toes are touching, palms are shining forward, and drishti is nice and soft in front of you. And staying here in stillness, and feeling all the energy centers from the root to the crown, and especially the throat today. The sound hum, just like a humming sound, the vibration of the hum sound all over, bringing the, the vastness of the sky into the vastness of our own body, of our own mind, through this chakra. Let's do a round of sun salutation. Inhale, sweep your hands overhead, high prayer. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen straight back. Exhale, fold inside. Step left foot all the way back. Drop your left knee down, untuck your toe, look up. Tucking that left toe, come to downward facing dog. 
Come to a plank. Drop your knees. Drop your chest. Drop your nose or your chin. Slide forward to cobra or upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Three deep breaths here through the throat, looking towards your belly. Audible breaths. You should be hearing yourself breathe through your nose. Ujjayi breath. Look forward. Step your left foot forward this time between your hands or drag them forward. Look up. Bring the right foot to meet the left. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, fold inside. Inhale, sweep your hands overhead. Exhale, release, coming back to Tadasana or mountain. And staying here for one deep inhale through your nose, moving through your throat, all the way to your heart and all the way down to your root. Exhale the same way, all the way from your root, through the other chakras, through your throat, and out through your nose. Inhale, sweep your hands overhead. Exhale, swan dive all the way down, pressing your hand firmly on the mat. Step your left foot all the way back, and then bring that left leg down at a 45 degree angle. Slowly coming to your fingertips and pressing yourself to warrior one. Make sure your hips are squared. Gaze is in front of you, feeling strong like a warrior. And then slowly open your hands coming to warrior two and make sure right thigh is parallel to the mat, nice and straight. And remembering the vibration that's all over your body. It's outside and inside. And slowly from here, you're gonna bring your left hand this time outside or inside of your right foot. And then open your right hand up. And if the left leg is Difficult, you can come to your toes and just make sure your right hand is nice and straight. Stay here for three breaths. You can drop your left knee down if this is difficult for you and take this variation. And then slowly frame that right foot. Bring that right foot all the way back to downward facing dog. Deep inhale through your nose, remembering your throat, your vishuddha, and then exhale through your nose. Look forward, step one foot forward this time. Between your hands, you can slowly drag it forward. Bring that right foot all the way down at a 45 degree angle, coming to your fingertips, and then slowly to warrior one. Making sure your left thigh is parallel to the mat. No judgment here. Do not judge yourself. Do not compare yourself. Just feeling of this connection with your own body, wherever you are in your practice, everything is good. Open your hands, coming to warrior two, throat chakra, is also associated with judgment. And sometimes we tend to judge ourselves and judge other people around us. And so by activating this, we are in this state of non-judgment. Just being us, who we are, our real self. And slowly from here, you're gonna bring your right hand this time inside the left, foot and then all bring coming to the right, right toe open that left hand up and this if this is difficult you can bring your right knee down on top and stay here for three breaths 
Find your balance. And then slowly after your third one, frame that left foot, tuck your toe and come back to downward facing dog. Downward facing dog or Adho Mukha Shrasana is a resting posture. So catch up with your breath, lengthen your neck and let it go. Let go of anything that's bothering you, any tension in your body, just let it go. In the next few minutes, just focus on your inner self, the divine self that's within all, all of us. Look forward, step your right foot between your hands, slowly drag it forward. And then from here, you can bring that left foot all the way down and then bring that right hand inside of that right foot. We're going to open up here again. And stay here, finding balance for either one or three breaths. And then slowly again, frame that right foot. And then straighten your leg, right leg. And trying to bring your chin, if you can, on your shin. You can bend your knees slightly if this is too difficult. But try to emphasize that length and length in your neck because we're activating our neck area today. So really try to bring that neck or your chin on the chin and stay here for three breaths. And then slowly from here, step that right Put back again, lengthen your neck, look towards your belly, deep inhale, deep exhale. Step that left foot inside this time. And this time bringing that right foot down, you're gonna bring that left hand inside of your left foot and then open your right hand up. And stay here for three breaths, finding your balance and thinking of the vibration that's resonating in your body. A place of non-judgmental self, a true self. Slowly bring that right hand down, frame that left foot and then Slowly from here, straighten that left leg if you can and bring your chin on the shin. You can bend your knee. Three deep breaths. And then slowly from here, step that right foot to meet the left. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, fold inside. Try to bring your forehead to connect your knee so you can bend your knee a little bit if you can't keep it straight. And bring your forehead to connect. If you can, grab the outer part of your leg or your ankle. And then from here, bring your hands to clasp behind you and slowly straighten it. Again, bringing your chin closer to your chin area, bending as much as you want. Stay here, find your balance. And then slowly from here, bring both hands to frame the foot and slowly inhale straight back. Exhale up and release. Let it go. Take a moment here in Tadasana. Lengthen spine, lengthen your neck. And slowly inhale, sweep your hands overhead again. Exhale, swan dive all the way down. And then from your step, your left foot again back this time. But this time you're gonna straighten your right 
leg. So the same idea that we did, but this time either you can grab your ankle or put your hand on the mat and just open up with this straight leg as much as you can. Just open. Again, we're emphasizing this openness in our throat area, bringing that energy into this area. Slowly frame that right foot, step that left foot to meet the right. Inhale, straight back, look forward. Exhale, fold inside and pressing your hand on the mat, step that right leg back this time. And you're gonna straighten your left leg, bring that left hand inside and open up. Either grabbing your ankle or on the mat. Whatever is comfortable, opening your shoulders, opening your neck, this throat area, bringing this divine energy from the ether all the way into our body, activating all chakras. Slowly frame that left foot. You can bend your knees, bring that right foot to meet the left. Inhale again, straight back. Exhale, fold inside. And then from here, you can slowly come down to sit. Straight legs in front of you. Dandasana. Inhale, hands are nice and straight up. Exhale, fold. You can grab the outer corners of your feet or you can bring your peace finger to grab your big toes. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, fold inside. And just melt here, feeling this connection. Let everything go. And slowly rise up, cross over your ankle, and then come to neutral tabletop for a second for one breath. And then from here, you're going to come all the way down on your forearms. Come to lie on your back. And then slowly from here, going to spread your hands apart. And as you inhale, lift up your chest, neck, and head. As you exhale, bring your chin down. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale one more time, exhale. From here, bring your hands by your chest. You can come up to Cobra with a slight bend, back bend. Or if you want a little bit more challenge, then you can bring your legs to zip or against one another really tightly. And then lift yourself up, coming to stand on your front of your toes, coming to this upward facing dog or cobra, whatever feels comfortable to you. Stay there. You can feel this energy point in your chakra and near your thyroid glands. And slowly bring your head down and then bring your elbows in front of you and then just set your chin on your hands almost this posture like we're watching tv stay here for three breaths lengthening your neck And then slowly come back to your forearms, coming to this sphinx posture, this gentle back bend, opening your throat area and feeling that gentle back bend. And slowly from here, bring your chin down and come to child's pose. Straight hands in front of you, and this time, Instead of bringing your forehead, so you can even open your legs apart, so you can come all the way down. So with straight hands in front of you, 
Instead of bringing your forehead down, today, bring your chin down and just look in front of you. And you'll really feel this connection, if you can, on your throat area with the earth. And try to sink deep and take three deep breaths here. And slowly press yourself up. And then this time from here, with one leg nice and straight in front of you, and then bringing that left foot inside your right thigh in the seated tree, make sure your hips are aligned in front of you. Then take inhale up. The same thing we did in Dandasana, but this time with the seated tree. Grab the outer corners of your feet, foot, and then just fall here. But as you fall, try to bring your chin on the shin so you can bend your right knee. And just stay here for three deep breaths. Slowly press yourself up. And this time, let's do that on the opposite side. Bring that right foot inside your left thigh. Try to make sure your right knee is sort of pointing to the right direction. So it's nice and straight. And straight torso. Inhale, hands straight up. Exhale, fold in again. You can bend your knee. Bring that chin on the shin. And just stay here and melt to the earth. And feel that connection between your beating heart and your mind. Your mind is racing, your heart is beating, but what's balancing those in between is this energy center, your Vishuddha Chakra, or the, also known as the purest point. And it makes sense because your voice can have a lot of power. It can carry a lot of power. Slowly rise up. And then from here, you know, shift your weight forward. I'm going to turn this way. And bringing your hand underneath your knees. You, your feet can be slightly apart, but make sure they're pressing on the mat. And finding that balance and connection on the mat, start to tip your weight back. Once you can't go any further back, then maybe straighten one leg forward in this Navasana or boat posture, and then bring your left leg to meet the right. You can stay here and try to find your balance. And if you feel comfortable, then you can let go of your hands and stay here for three deep breaths, looking towards your toe. Make sure you're not scrunched. Two. Three, and then slowly from here, come to lie all the way on your back. From here, we're gonna first do Halasana and then do Setu Bandhasana. So preparing yourself for Halasana. So there are a couple of ways of going into Halasana. So you can bring, lift up your back, and then bringing your hands on the mat, lift up your legs towards the sky, both legs. And if you can, you just come up and then roll all the way back to Halasana. So try to emphasize straight leg. So this posture is not just good for your throat chakra, but it's also very good for your skin. It really brings a lot of blood flow into your skin. And so it can bring that glow on your face if you do this every day. So if you find yourself here, you can bring your hands to clasp and try to straighten your legs and try to stay here for at least three breaths or more if you can. This is a really good posture, Halasana, to do before bedtime, also for good sleep because it allows this gentle blood flow unlike other types of inversion postures. This one's a good one to do before sleeping. After your third breath, you can bring 
both knees to frame your face if you can. If not, then you can slowly roll down, slowly one vertebrae. Don't do it abruptly because you don't want to hurt your spine and just slowly come down. And then from here, just take a moment. You can bring your feet about mat width distance and just knock your knees against one another and just stay here in this restorative posture. Three nice breaths, cleansing breaths. If you keep practicing this halasana, this type of inversion, it starts getting easier if you're not used to doing it. And you'll also start really feeling this energy, this gentle energy. And slowly let go. And then now bring your legs about hip width distance and bring your heels closer to closer towards your buttocks so you can graze the heels, back of your heels with your fingertips. And then slowly pressing your hand, lift your pelvis up. Make sure your shoulders are really glued to the mat and you can bring your hands to clasp underneath in this Setu Bandhasana or bridge posture. And just stay here, feel that energy in your throat chakra, your Vishuddha. And just think of the sound hum, the vibration. And then slowly bring your pelvis all the way down. Bring your knees closer to your chest. Take some circles with your knee in one direction. Take the circles in the opposite direction. And coming to stillness, drop both knees towards the right side and turn your head to the left. Bringing that left shoulder down. Slowly come to center and then drop both knees to the left and turn your head to the right, bringing that right shoulder down. And then slowly from here, you know, bring your knees close to your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug, grabbing opposite elbows, lifting your neck, lifting your head. Bring your forehead close to your knee, coming to this tiny little bow. One more inhale here. And on your exhale, just let it go. You're in the most difficult posture in yoga practice, Shavasana. Movement is easy for us sometimes, but staying still in our mind and our bodies can be the most challenging thing. So try to get all the fidgets out. Just start to settle into this natural state of being, this nothingness, the ether, the sky that's signified by the throat chakra, the vastness of the sky, and we're part of that. For me, each of the chakras are like moving from this earth element slowly up to the, this big higher consciousness element. And it's so, so much more uh, connected to the earth and then to the greenery, like the trees as we move to the heart chakra. And then as we move to the throat, it's the sky. And then next two practice will be focused on our Ajna and our ultimate seventh chakra, Sahasrara. But right now, just start to let go your breath can start to be normal. You 
make sure your tongue is not touching the roof of your mouth. And slowly start to bring some movements on your fingertips. Deepen your breath. Wiggle your toes. Take a nice good morning stretch with your body. Hands overhead. Point your toes. Arch your back. And then bring your knees close to your chest. And turn towards your right side. Bringing your head on your arms. And then feeling this moment of gratitude for who you are, where you are in your journey. We're all in a journey. Feel the thankfulness for wherever you are, for whatever you are. Everything is okay. Slowly press yourself up and try to keep your eyes closed for a moment here. As you inhale and exhale. Then slowly start to open your eyes. We're going to do a round of Brahmari Pranayama today. It's also known as B breath. So this breathing is really good for activating your throat chakra. So you can observe me first and then follow it um, if you've never done the Brahmari Pranayama before. So we're gonna bring our hands in Sanmukhi Mudra. So that means you're gonna place your thumb over your ears. Then you're gonna bring your index finger above your eyebrows, your middle finger on your eyes gently, you're not pressing, your ring finger by your nose and your pinky finger by your mouth. So basically you're trying to shut off all the senses your ears, your eyes, your nose. So it's, it's more symbolic, so don't press it. And you're gonna take, with a slight tip, tipping your head back, just slightly, you're gonna take a deep inhale. And then on your exhale, you're gonna hum like a bee like this. One more. Mm -hmm. So you're going to let it go. So we're going to do this about six times. You might, if you've never done this, sometimes two rounds itself can feel like a lot. And if this placing your hand in front of your mouth makes you feel claustrophobic, then you can just do it this way by just placing your thumb and keeping your mouth your face area open because for some people placing the hands it makes them uneasy all right let's begin so you're going to bring your hands in sanmukhi mudra place your thumb by your ear so you're not actually closing the ear just gently and then you're going to bring your index finger over your eyebrow your middle finger on top of your eyelids ring finger by your nose and then your pinky by your mouth Inhale. Let's begin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Slowly after your sixth one, you can place your hands loosely on the lap. 
this vibration and feel the vibration all over your body. And then slowly you open your eyes. We're gonna bring your hands in this mudra for throat chakra. So you're gonna clasp them underneath and then bring your thumbs to touch each other and place it right at the base of your stomach. And we're gonna now say the Bija Mantra of the Throat Chakra, hum, as many times as you want. I'm gonna do 12 times, and then I'm gonna say bye to you guys. Inhale, hum, hum. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you so much for joining me. Keep practicing. Keep activating all your chakras and feeling the connection with the divine. Namaste.